In this short tutorial, I'm going to show you when you would want to use Smart Blend in Twixter and why you'd want to use this option. Smart Blend is an option that gives better results on a pan or zoom or other footage where objects or parts of objects are entering or exiting the frame. When this option is off on such shots, you might get pixels that smear or drag at the edge of the frame. When turned on, this option can produce a much better blending when objects are moving off the screen. This option will increase the calculation time and is only necessary on certain shots, like shots with pans and zooms that are greater than 5%. So that's why I keep referring to it as an option. First, let's see the shot that pans off screen. Since we have already seen in previous lessons how to do a pre-comp and add Twixter, I'm going to jump ahead to once we've added Twixter and we're in the Effect Controls window. So here we are in the Effect Controls window. We have previously added Twixter and changed the speed percentage to 10 to slow it down by a factor of 10. I am going to show you a comparison of this shot rendered without Smart Blend on the left and with Smart Blend on the right. You can see on the lower right corner of the one labeled No Smart Blend that the objects seem to get warped off the screen. The image on the right with Smart Blend has a much better result. Now we can see how to turn on Smart Blend. We just go back to the Smart Blend option and check the box. If you're using Twixter Pro, let's look at these Smart Blend options. The inverse method is the same as using Twixter Regular and the extra option you have in Twixter Pro is forward warping, which can give better results when guiding Twixter Pro with splines or tracking points, or when slowing down by more than three times and you see a ghosting with the inverse warping. While Twixter Pro produces a better result within the image with forward warping, you will need to use the Smart Blend option if you use forward warping and you see cross-dissolving artifacts at the edges. You can see for this shot that it's an even better method. So to recap, Smart Blend and Twixter is a great option if you're retiming your shot and you have images panning off the screen.